عليه لكتاب السند هند يا Greetings, Yaham. If I may, where is the scholar Ahmad ibn Musa? Ah, yes. The most adventurous of the Banu Musa. His workshop is right behind me. Thank you, Yaham. Bassam, hey! Nine fingers over here! Nihal! What do you have there, sneak thief? A book. I managed to save at least one from the fire. If they catch you stealing... They cut off a finger. No, wait. A whole hand. That is not funny. Then don't laugh. All right, you are in a mood, and I have things to do. Nothing that concerns you. Oh, secret hidden one stuff. What are you doing this time? Stabbing? Stealing? Stabbing and then stealing? That is your specialty, Nihal. Just because you lost a finger does not mean you've lost your touch. All these tools and books looks like Ahmed's room. But where is he? Ahmed always signs his work. This is definitely his doing. Measuring tools, like my father used to own. But these are Ahmad's. The letter says these books are for Ahmad. Ahmed seems to be working on something new. But what? Diagrams, machine tools, and other oddities. This is definitely Ahmed's workshop. But where can he be? Pardon me. May I help you? I am looking for Ahmad ibn Musa. Do you know where I can find him? I may be able to help you. Follow me. Is this your first visit to the House of Wisdom? No. A friend and I used to sneak in as kids. We taught ourselves to read in your library. All young people should follow your worthy example. The caretakers who chased us out of the stacks every day did not think so. Merely doing the jobs. And what did you study in the House of Wisdom? I loved poetry and heroic tales. My friend preferred pagan gods and dark magic. Interesting. <laughs> and did you follow your youthful passion and become a scholar? When the whole world awaits. No. You might say I am a man on a mission. Ah, well. 
What about your friend? No, no, she... still searches for something. Though what that is, I do not know. A shame. It's not far now. Hurry, hurry. God, help! I'm under attack! What? You lie! Don't hurt me. You led me into a trap. I should slay you where you stand. Spare kindly, Hamid. Then tell me, where is Ahmad ibn Musa? Please, sir. I don't know where he is. Truly, I do not. Then why lead me into an ambush? He... he made me do it. Who is he? Not Ahmad, surely. I don't know his name, for he always wears a mask. And what does this masked man want? He commands me to keep everyone away from the House of Wisdom's stick site. Or else... Or else what? He will hurt my head, like with the others. Please, spare humble Hamid. Where is this dig site? It's in the wilderness, outside of the city. Hey! Let me draw you a map. The map should lead me to the dig site.
Show me the path ahead. Yeah! Such a massive dig. What are they up to? Nothing can hide from us, Enkidu. Impressive work, my friend. Are you digging up something for the Khalifa? Never you mind all that. The remains of past empires intrigues me. Do you mind if I take a look around? Look at the old rocks all you want, but don't touch our tools and chests. I would not dream of it. I want to vomit. <laughs> what do you see, Enkidu? Mercenaries guarding the site. They must have found something important. When do we get paid, Captain? We will get paid. One way or the other. They don't have much to steal. Go, Enkidu. 
I'll do something. I've bought some of those pale long hairs, killed a couple. They are wild, but skilled, formidable warriors. But so am I. I've taken worse. Fighting with the Amir of Barda back in 38. Are you the leader the of this battle-scarred band of war dogs? You must get paid well. Not as much as we want to get paid, I'll tell you that. Care to do a little work for me? Maybe. What's this job, then? See those fancy Khalifa's men over there? I might need a hand. Hmm. Let's work something out. Spoken like a true mercenary. Here is a token of my appreciation. Hey, it's honest work. Get out of here. Why does that fool of a scholar travel with so many chests? I only need my blade, my water skin, and my bed. Hold on. Hmm, nothing. I should see if there are any more chests around. Standing guard beneath the sweltering sun, praise the geniuses of the House of Wisdom. This work is dangerous and unclean. We disturb the ghosts of ancient unbelievers. <laughs> <laughs> Should keep looking.
chest has Ahmed's signature seal on it. Must be his. Interesting. A letter to Ahmed from a Dr. Hassan. Ahmed must be at the hospital working with this doctor. But what is a famous inventor doing with a doctor? It must all link together somehow. Maristan, where the best healers in Baghdad gather. Finding Dr. Hassan should lead me to Ahmed. I need to find a way into Dr. Hassan's office. The symbol of the order. This all but proves that Dr. Hassan is one of them. Proves it. Hassan is neck deep in the order. Oh. 
I hate you! Your mind out! Huh. Some scholars from the House of Wisdom got burned trying to save the books. We need that room for the patients. No, that's Dr. Hassan's private laboratory. It's locked. No one must go inside. So we just leave the burned victims outside? Will someone answer me? Please, use your indoor voice. You're upsetting the patients. Dr. Hassan keeps his laboratory locked up. I wonder why. Never make captain on Robin about. Feel it.
Well. I was posted just outside the gate when she sang for the Emir of Barda. Never have I heard such a voice. Mature yet. my methods, only the mechanism itself it needs more subjects, more work. I certainly do not need some useless inventor meddling with the great work. The doctor is dead. Now to find Ahmed and solve this bloody mystery. Basim, what happened here? Where were you, Ahmed? I was around. I'm always around. Would you tell me what happened? Are you aware this man works for the Order? He called on me a few weeks ago after they found something in the desert. An ancient mechanism of some sort. They needed me to... And you asked no questions? I never ask questions when it comes to work. Do you? Tell me about this mechanism. It opens a path in the mind, a path to the ancient world. This mechanism somehow seems to open the doors of perception. Have you seen this for yourself? No, but I heard the stories of those who have. They are lost, Basim because they think what they saw is reality. They think they belong to this ancient world. I knew nothing about the Order being involved. If I did, I would have come to you. I just... I got caught up. You know me. You know me, Basim. You will leave this place and return to the Bureau. I will not tell a soul if you do not. How shameful it is that knowledge always ends up in the wrong hands. Isn't it, Basim? A bloody mess. 
head bandages. But this is a hospital after all. I do not care for these diagrams. should return to the Bureau. That person looks suspicious. I should investigate. This shard brings me one step closer to uncovering the mysteries.
فلتصحبك السلامة في رحلتك باسم <تصفيق> I knew it was you You are not the only one with eyes that see afar So, Tabid You have filled the streets with eyes and spies Such is the life of a Rafiq Without my knowledge, huh? where would we be? Knowledge is a tool, a weapon it can be used for good or ill, and the Order is using it for ill indeed. What have you learned? Rot runs deep through the House of Wisdom. They are using some ancient book, hoping to build a wicked device. Mm. I have heard rumors of this blasphemous contraption. They call it their great work. The Order is experimenting on people, lethally. I have stopped them for now. But someone called El Rabisu is running things at the House of Wisdom. Mm. Any idea about who this Rabisu character could be? I have my suspicions about the great scholar, Fazil Fahim. That fragile old man? The clues I have gathered tell me so. Mm. It could be. The House of Wisdom will be hosting a great symposium soon. An informal gathering of scholars. A lecture, refreshments, chatter. Even the great Arib will attend. Go, spy out this puzzle with care. But do not throw your blade at the symposium. We don't want to show our hand just yet. Hmm. But if Fazil is guilty and alone, then like a viper, strike. But you must be sure. Before I act, I will be sure. The symposium should be here. Baghdad's brightest, sharing their wisdom. Do you have something for me? Ha! Very good! It is certain no other in the city has seen this. If you find any more, I am here. Pardon me. I am looking for the great scholar's lecture. Basil Fahim's lecture about the antediluvian antecedents of humanity will begin soon. In the meantime, please enjoy our ample stock of exquisite delicacies and tasty refreshments. Be my eyes, Enkidu. Where is Arim? I hope to catch a whiff of her magnificent aura. So rare to see her outside of the round city. 
The beloved is in the garden, ruminating upon the perfection of nature. Ah, oh, to be a flower held in her discerning hands, inspiring such languid verse. She must be relieved to be free of her wealthy patrons for a change. Oh, perhaps she leads an exciting secret double life, slipping out of the palaces to find inspiration in common life. <laughs> I doubt it. Guide me, Enkidu. Go, Enkidu. The translator. What is he still doing here? Hunain, you should not be back so soon. I know. I'm still nervous, but... I couldn't stay away from my books. I guess we must always do our duty. Wadaan. I told you I'd see you around. Indeed. And what brings you back? I want to show you something. This house of wisdom boars collect the wildest trinkets and gadgets. I have been here before, Nihal. This is Ahmad ibn Musa's office. Have you been sneaking in there? It gives me a tingle down my spine. Like I'm nearing a cosmic secret. You read too much about magicians and lost cities buried beneath the dunes. You don't read enough. Perhaps there are other worlds, other people, out among the stars. Nonsense. Ahmed and his brothers are capable of designing some fantastic devices. Not all of his ideas are that practical, I'm afraid. Don't be so smug. The world is full of wonders. Does this remind you of your nightmares? No. More like something from the Bimaristan. Or a training chart of the Hidden Ones. Ah, yes. The swift ways to kill silently. Death in seconds.
This. I have seen this one before. Is this what you wanted to show me? Yes. It reminded me of that object we found at the palace. What is it? A drawing from an ancient book. There is something you are not telling me. You do not want to know what happens behind closed doors. Why? Because you do not know either? Because, as Dirwish says, sometimes it is better not to know the truth behind the things we must do. The truth, Basim, is that everything is here in front of you. But you refuse to look at it. This is about you. It has always been about you, ever since that night. I took an oath, Nihal. To leave my old life behind and walk this path of shadows. And maybe someday you will find the light. But until then, I will walk behind you every step of the way to remind you not to forget who you are. Is that a threat? I do not know. Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. That astronomer might be one of them. Though I doubt it. Sayyidi, I am honored to make your acquaintance. Good to see more young people enjoying the House of Wisdom. Do you think the great scholar will give a good lecture? Do not waste time listening to his nonsense. I have written many more edifying and practical books instead. On which topics? I have written extensively about sundials, astrolabs, stars and planets, and the circumference of the Earth. Fascinating, Sayyidi. I shall read more of your work soon. Wadaan. Looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. There is that poet Abid loves, whose work keeps turning up in unexpected places. 
shallow of desert ships. From distant lands bring to our ears. From your wind touch. Yes? Symmetry of sky and sea. But only in thine eye do these two planes meet. You have read my work. And who might you be? A lover of poetry, nothing more. And of order. Or should I say, chaos? I know only one living poet who loves chaos that much. Ali ibn Muhammad. Are you a fan of his pedestrian work? The rivalry between you two is legendary. It enhances the craft. I cannot choose. You are most diplomatic. But I would rather seek inspiration among these lovely blooms. Good day. Sounds like the lecture is about to begin. I should return to the Kahreman. Pardon me. Is Fazel Fahim's lecture ready to begin? Indeed it is. Head inside if you please. Welcome, one and all, to the House of Wisdom, center of learning in Baghdad, indeed, of the entire world. I am Fazil Fahim al Kimsa, first scholar of the House of Wisdom, wisest of the wise. Today, I will shock you with what may sound like outrageous <laughs> blasphemies. <laughs> Do not fear, good people. Though I am old, my mind remains sharp as steel. Today I speak of mysteries, of creatures from the antediluvian age. Do not the ancient prophets tell us about giants from before the flood who forsook Allah and worshipped false idols? <laughs> Is it not possible these giants built marvels, works of wondrous power, now lost to us? Zahra and Hassan are both dead, slain by an assassin's blade. They are dead. Saidi, I urge you to hide until it's safe. Uh, uh, apologies, people, but our lecture has concluded. Please, feel free to explore the House of Wisdom's many fine chambers. You call yourself the great scholar, Fazil. You who burn books and hope the smoke will hide your crimes. How many did you sacrifice in your search for knowledge? How many did you use, damage, and discard in the name of discovery? Now you hide within the House of Wisdom. The house you led astray. But I will find you. And I will exact justice for every soul you savaged for your great work. It is true. Fazil leads the order in Abbasia. I need to hunt him down. What do you think frightened the great scholar? The old fool must have imagined one of his antediluvian creatures. He's an absolute disgrace. But where did he run off to? There's rumors of hidden passages beneath the House of Wisdom. Maybe he hid down there. 
I have heard the rooftop gardener mention these places, yes. What a colorful detail to include in my verse. The scholar, by secret tunnels fled, chased by delusions of deities who want him dead. Let us get a wider view. Pardon me, but I heard a rumor about a hidden basement beneath the House of Wisdom. A secret basement? You must be joking. No, not at all. Surely, such a large building must have basements and cellars to store books and inks. I am aware of no such location on these premises. Perhaps a little token of my appreciation will jog your memory. Most generous. <sighs> Murders, mayhem, and bonfires. It's time for me to depart the House of Wisdom. Father has a fine carpet shop in Samara. He always wanted me to take up the family trade. A wise choice. Now, about any hidden cellars. Oh, yes, uh, of course. Forgive me. Now that you mention it, there is a basement hatch in the northwest courtyard. Thank you. Oh, looks clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Wait, what? This key could be useful. Stop right there! Uh, better not be more... <laughs> hmm. 
was here. Hey, what? I'll flay you when I find you. What? <laughs> Better not use my weapons here. Oh. Gatekeeper, let me pass. Those who came before are... What are you talking about? Those who came before are... Let me get back to you. I've lost Fossil's greatest word. I can use my weapons again if needed. the great scholar's masterwork. I'm sorry. I was distracted by the presence of the famous poet Arib. Forget the poet. We better find Fazl's book or we're both dead. Sounds like part of a passphrase. out of place wedged behind a desk like that. A history of the great scholar and his magnificent reforms of the House of Wisdom by Fazil Fahim. Not sure if this is the correct volume. Better not use my weapons here. Gatekeeper, those who came before are... I will return with the passphrase. Just a hey. <sighs> Who? Hey. What was that? 
You'll be back. Worth checking. What? <laughs> hey! Trouble about it. Feel it. What? Looks like somebody left a book in the stairwell. Better not use my weapons here. The folly of poetry by Fazil Fahim. Does not sound too romantic, to be honest. This letter mentions a private reading balcony. Might be where the reader has taken the book.
An impressive volume, written by Fazil Fahim. Could be his masterwork. Its title is, Those who came before are those who shall return. This has to be it. I better not use my weapons here. Again, I ask, those who came before are... ...are those who shall return. Correct! You may proceed! Clear. I can use my weapons again if needed. Hold on. What's going on? Nobody's putting me in that thing. Not ever. Don't worry. We've got plenty of fun to do. What? Can you come out my to play? Out we'll leave the bottom.
there is a deep wrongness here. A reek of rot and iron. Those robes might help me get closer to Fazil. This world doesn't look right. Someone take me back to the bright, shiny place. What have they done to these people? Poor guy will not need this anymore. This should help me blend in. seen it all before. Somehow. Who dares meddle with my great work? Killing my allies and spoiling my lecture. It's an outrage. It looks like the handiwork of a trained assassin. Must be some faction in the round city. Or one of those jealous broods in Shakti. These killings were too subtle for mercenaries. No matter. Once I understand how the mechanism works, I will prove myself to Al Bahamud. In here, Lackwit. You are new, aren't you? I don't recognize you. They promised you gold when you volunteered, yes? No matter. What you are about to behold surpasses all worldly riches. Don't be afraid. Are you afraid? This is my great work. I call it Arua. It will take you on a journey to another realm. Why did the first ones leave this world behind, filled with fools, I wonder, and make so few of me? We call this the House of Wisdom, but its foundations are unsound. For beneath the House of Wisdom lies the Dungeon of Ignorance. And upon such dark secrets, we build our philosophies. Science is the noblest purpose. Knowledge is the greatest power. No. No? Then what? This may be the place. It may be here where lies absolute knowledge. It, it is not how I remember it. Behind the doors, it looked brighter. But in the end, all we see is darkness. 